This is a short bite episode of Homeschool Together. Hello and welcome to Homeschool Together Short Bite Edition. We're going to deviate a little bit today and not talk and review another wonderful game for you guys to try at home. We're going to do something a little bit different. Past about five or six months, we've been really pushing the morning basket as a new thing, as kind of a an enrichment, kind of a fill in the gaps type of thing for our six year old. And one of the things that I've been doing is bringing in a lot of workbooks. I've found that over the last about five or six months, she's really begun to enjoy doing workbooks in small bites. I don't think it's something she can, you know, at this age be able to do for like hours or anything. Well, I think it's a really great thing to help kind of get her brain, you know, working in the morning. She really likes that. She can do a lot of it independently. So I think it works out really nicely. Yeah. Especially from the standpoint of, you know, doing something a little bit different than she's, than she's used to like math and reading and, you know, our Build Your Library Torchlight combination of around the world journey that we've been doing. Check out our YouTube channel for the super sweet videos there. But something that I like to do is, is you know, add in those little those things that might be a little different than what you normally see, kind of right. like fill in the gap. That, that you're not like, uh, yeah. you're not going, I mean, math and reading or things you, you know that you're going to cover, you know. So it's kind of fun to fill in with, you know, just to try to give our kids a really well-rounded education with, you know, some of those other things that we might not, you know, have in the forefront of our yeah. minds. So we'll talk a little bit about today. Um, it's specifically from the Evan Moore Company, which does a lot of workbooks. I mean, I think on the back of this workbook, they go all the way. Well, this is just yeah. that line, of, line workbooks. of workbooks. They do yeah. like a ton of workbooks, but yeah. So this is specifically their line called the Skill Sharpeners, and it's the geography book. So we're just going to talk specifically about the geography book, and explicitly the the grade K version of the geography book. Uh, we've just completed it. Um, they call it the Skill Sharpeners Edition. It's about, let's check it out, about 100, 130 pages long. Mm-hmm. And I think for our my daughter, we would do about anywhere between three to four pages, you know, on any given day. I might do this once, twice, maybe, you know, if she's really excited about what we're learning that week, maybe t- three times a week. So I can easily move through eight, nine, ten pages. I found this book took us about three months to get through, maybe two to three months to get through. She really, really enjoyed it. It was just something I think so so different than what she normally does, and it really I think just sparked that interest. I found a lot of times when we were doing this book that she would be asking to do more pages. I'd be like, no, 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 let's just do the one or two pages, and she said, no, no, Daddy, I want to do another. You know, give me another couple of pages. And yeah, it was very engaging for her. She really enjoyed yeah, it. And from my and from my standpoint as a you know as a burgeoning educator, whenever the, the little one is saying, you know, I absolutely want to do more, I I, I never say no. So <laughs> that's a- <laughs> Well, and you know, these books are, you know, sub $10. Yeah. This book that you're holding there was $8. Yeah. Uh, so really affordable. I think you can get them for like maybe six ninety five sometimes on yeah. Rainbow Resources, depending if you've already got an order there going. So let's dig into this a little yeah. bit and talk about um, what's the format of these workbooks? So this workbook, over the 130 pages, follows a, a similar pattern. It's the idea of concepts and skills, and those are the type of things they want you to do. So typically with the concept, that is you as the educator or the parent are reading something and teaching some concept to them. So for example, it could be cardinal directions, north, south, east, west, right? Or it could be the idea of finding directions or understanding that on maps there are little icons that indicate things like, oh, that's the camping location or that's where the trees are. Yeah, Yeah. basically the map key. They teach you that concept and then they reinforce that through some skill. Now that skill could be simply, you know, connecting the map key to the map item or it could be simply color in this item or color in these actions or, you know, tell me the directions that little Johnny would take to go from you know, point A to point B at, in the zoo. So Johnny wants to go see the giraffes. How are you going to get there? And you use your compass to help guide Johnny out to those points. A lot of times they would also have activities where you're cutting things out. And I found this to be a really cool skill if you want to kind of blend in a little bit of scissors and glue work, if that's not something you normally focus on and prioritize. I found this book maybe, I don't know, half the time the, the skill work was scissors and glue work. Mm-hmm. And if that is something that's really important to you, I know I just sat in on a kindergarten class today for the first time <laughs> and uh, there was a lot of scissors, a lot of glue work and a lot of artwork. And so I found that to be kind of 
you know, if you're, tr- if you're not sitting, if you're not doing kind of like a parent partnership thing that we're doing and you want to get that time in there or drive that as an activity on a normal basis, these are, this feels like these books. And I know we're already into the second geography book now. Right. Our kindergartner is doing the first grade uh, geography book yeah. and, and is loving it. Yeah. Loving it. And so the same thing there as well, a lot of scissors and glue work. So there seems to be kind of a repetitive nature. On, on just some of the activities, not in a negative way, but in a good way that it kind of reinforces those skills. From the standpoint of the various concepts and the various activities, almost every single page is unique. And that's something I really oh, like. I to love that. Re- repetitive yeah. activities. And it's like the kids see right through that too. Yeah, I've, It doesn't I've, matter if the colors are different, but it's kind of the yeah, same, the I've same no, thing. I, now that we've begun to do a few workbooks, I've noticed that not all workbooks are the... Are, oh, they aren't all created all, equal. No, they are not. For example, the Scholastic Sight Words book, which I like as a concept, is very repetitive. Every six pages are the same thing, right? It just cycles back different word, but maybe the exact same activity every few pages. I don't like that because you're right. My daughter can see right through that. It gets a little boring and repetitive. In these books, Evan Moore has taken the, you know, the effort to make unique activities all the way through the book. And so from that standpoint, as an educator, you are approaching fresh and exciting content all the time. And I think, you know, if you're struggling to do workbooks with your learner, these type of things where they have, they've gone the distance to really make, you know, different activities and different, you know, skills and different. Yeah, right. like, I mean, some of them are cutting something yeah. out. Some of them are gluing. Well, and or... sometimes they're like puzzles. Like I just opened up randomly to a puzzle of the world. Right. And so you know, you, she might be putting together a puzzle there, or she might be like, you know, gluing pictures of Arctic foxes on the northern, you know, uh, on the north on the north side of the of the uh, globe, right? That type of thing. So even though she might be cutting and gluing, they're not always the same activity. Mm-hmm. And so it's really, really, really nice. I also liked as a, a grade K um, book the first time you're introducing this idea of geography. They started with the kid and like their bedroom. Mm-hmm asking them to draw, you know, an image of their bedroom. And then they worked out from there. And it took about, I don't know, maybe a dozen back and forths between this concept and the skills before they got to like maybe your country or your world, right? So they spent a lot of time teaching geography from the standpoint of what the kid is, what potentially the kid is seeing on a day-to-day basis. So they start in their bedroom, then they work up to their home, then their street and their town and then they maybe go on to the world at that point. But there's a lot of activities that are very identifiable to a six, seven-year-old, five, maybe even five-year-old as well. Not a lot of, um, not a lot of reading effort here. Right. So that so you can definitely, if you have an, uh, if you have a, a young one that's still learning to read like mine, definitely you don't have to. They don't have to sit there and read all the answers or do all, do all the all the reading themselves. You can do that for them. And again, it's not a lot of reading. I mean, it's just maybe like. The concept page might take two minutes to get through. The activity and the skills work might take one minute to do if it's an easy one. If it's a cut and glue one, it might take five minutes. So to do an entire concept skills activity might take you 10 minutes. And so from a 10 minutes from a workbook standpoint where you're just bringing this in like maybe two or three times a week, really cool Nice little thing that I can slot in. Otherwise, I wasn't going to be spending a lot of time teaching or geography. Right. Or this works really well, especially since we are doing the around the world stuff. That And that's a reason. originally the reason why we got this is we were thinking like, ah, if we could get a workbook supplement, she could do a little bit more independently that would help to um, to support the work that we're doing studying yeah. around the world would be really great. Yeah, especially if you've got like a state that requires you to do some additional activities that you're not necessarily going to focus on in your regular curriculum uh, or that maybe you struggle at a little bit like oh you have to have a geography thing as part of your requirement for your state at this level this is a good one this was a really cool way to get that in and be able to say yeah i did geography you know it's no big deal it's pretty easy yeah for for an eight dollar workbook and it's got really bright colorful pages um really great uh engaging illustrations i think overall this one's really a winner for us we really like it absolute winner i we immediately ran out and got the the first grade book what i liked about it is that at the time i was doing this book my learner was not necessarily you know really gravitating to the reading as much as she is now it was great because when we're doing the activities and we're actually doing the exercises if I knew she had new words, we were able to do the reading together. And I thought that it was another way to just kind of drive home reading and, and, and that type of thing. Also, a lot of spelling and handwriting as well. So if you're, tr- I've noticed a lot of growth in her handwriting in the last about five or six months because we are doing a lot more workbooks. 
and she is having to write words. Now she isn't having to like learn how to like, like today she was writing partly cloudy. She didn't know how to spell any of that, but she was able to look at it in the key and copy the words. And so in essence, there's built in copy work and that's helping her handwriting. I've noticed her handwriting improving a lot. So a lot of dovetailing with a lot of other, you know, goals that we have for our early learners. Geography book, skill sharpeners, Evan Moore. I would definitely give this a recommendation. Right. There's we're, a bunch of different skill sharpeners yeah. books. We have a couple more that we're going to be trying out with our daughter. So when yeah. we try those out, we'll definitely let you know what we think. Been, um, but this one, this one, yeah. yeah, this one's a great start. So definitely check it out. Skill sharpeners, Evan Moore. Thanks so much for joining us today and making us a part of your homeschool journey. Please engage with us on social media. Join our Homeschool Together podcast group on Facebook and find us at Homeschool Together podcast on Instagram. We'd love to hear your feedback, questions, and recommendations. Until next time. Happy homeschooling!